Hey Rebels! Oh my goodness, we are so close to Christmas. I hope that you're doing okay. I know this can be a very stressful time. I know my to-do list feels a little long right now, but I hope you're also enjoying the season a little bit. I wanted to pop in. This is going to be a quick video. I know you don't have a lot of time, but this is a really important topic, so I'm going to make it quick, but please don't take the quickness to uh, make you think it's not a super significant um, thing that you need to do in your life, like right now, like drop everything and do it, <laughs> okay? And that's releasing. Empathic people, especially healers, we tend to not be great at doing this. We are so worried all the time about what everybody else is feeling and thinking and going through and needing that just to release something can be very difficult for us. And we sort of we sort of release on autopilot. Like we think we can just move past something by not consciously thinking about it anymore. But that's not true because we still hold on to it. We still trap it. Um, and, and we have it in our bodies. It's still there in our brain and it's, it keeps coming up and all we're doing is kind of pushing it down. So I want you to take a minute and I want you to think about, just take a few deep breaths and think about what you need to release in your life. Like what do you need to not be there anymore? Listen, you don't have to release it immediately. You don't have to be like, you know what, this toxic person, I don't want him, want that person in my life anymore. And then boom, you never speak to them again. <laughs> you can create some distance and boundaries. Um, if there's a task that you do at work that you absolutely just need to be done with, you need to release that, you don't have to release it that instant, the instant you become aware you need to, but you do need to create a plan to start releasing that in your life. What's the time frame? What's how is that going to go? And make it a process so that you'll actually do it. If you force yourself to try to do this all at once, that's going to feel terrible and you're never going to follow through. Here is what I want you to do. Create a list of things that you need to release and just have it be a running list over the next couple of weeks from now into the new year. What can you release? This is the perfect time of year to do this. You know, in the in the seasons and in the cycle and the the um wheel of the year you're right in the zone where you're releasing what doesn't work before you really focus on your intentions for the new year so what do you need to let go of write a list it can be things from like household chores to like humans who don't deserve a place in your mind you know like you're just thinking about them and they're irritating you causing emotional havoc um, and just go through that and see what's there. See what you can find on that list and just know what it is. It doesn't mean you have to commit to action in that moment. You just need to know what needs to be released. Now, you set like a little time frame. Some stuff you'd be like, I'm gonna release that shit right now I'm and I'm done. Some things are gonna require some effort, some time. Some things you may, you may need to do some energy healing or some energy work. Um, just to get like get that gone. Maybe it's something you've been holding on to for a while. Maybe you need to do a session with me or you need to see a therapist or something to help you really let go and work through something. Out is through, right? So really focus on that. And then the other thing that I want you to do is the number one thing that knocks empaths off balance. <laughs> this is one thing that we don't release that I really, really want you to take a minute to do and that is expectations expectation is ego's like main weapon right using that against you is how it keeps you stuck and keeps you still and makes it hard for you to even tune in to your intuition so what i want you to do is look at all the places where expectation either other ex expecting how other people are going to feel expecting how you're going to feel expecting exactly how something's going to go all of those areas, I want you to just be super aware of where that issue is coming in. Maybe you're doing something big. You're like doing something new and great and exciting and hard and difficult. And you're overcome with worrying about what other people are going to think and, and if they're going to accept it or cheer it on or if they're going to watch you fail or succeed. Then that means you need to release some expectation. You are too tied to it. And you're gonna notice it's really hard to tune into your intuition around it. People get to this time of year, like right after the holidays, and we get to January 1st, and everyone's like, this is what's gonna happen in my new year, and they're all excited, and they're setting these amazing intentions, but they don't get there because they haven't released the expectations that they've sort of gathered over time. So look at that too, and you're gonna notice a big difference. 
the best thing you can do for yourself going into the holidays, my beautiful, empathic, spiritual rebel friends, is this. Don't focus on expectation when you go sit around your family, okay? Don't focus on that. Focus on intention. You have control over that. You don't have any control in the expectation area. So if you sit down and you are expecting this year, your aren't whoever is not going to bring up that horrible thing that makes you feel bad, or this person is, is, I'm expecting them to fully accept me for who I am this year. And I'm going to expect that this year, my grandmother is not going to make comments about my ripped jeans. <laughs> You're just setting yourself up to be disappointed because you can't control what they do, but you can control you and how you feel. So if instead you're like, you know what, my intention is when I'm with my family to be present, to be kind, to feel connected to them, but to also speak up and kindly let them know if something they're saying is hurting my feelings, to stand up for myself, to bring up that topic, to be who I am. If that's what your intentions are, then you can continually steer yourself back to that. To, how about this one? I'm setting the intention to not take the bait. You all have that person, we all do, right? Who is like setting you up, dangling the bait in front of you for drama. Tension, no fishing. I'm not taking any bait, no thank you, right? Set your intention to do those types of things and you're gonna have a much better balanced time. Go in when I'm, I'm doing my um, gift wrapping tomorrow and I've already created my intention for it. I am going to enjoy it. I'm gonna be grateful that I managed to buy all these gifts and, and have all of these people who I wanna buy for. Really grateful that I get to do this for my kids, right? Because most of the gifts I'm wrapping are for them. Um, and just really be in that. I'm gonna put on a Christmas movie and I'm gonna have like my fancy peppermint latte and I'm gonna have Christmas cookies and I'm gonna eat them and it's going to be Great, and that's how I'm going into it, setting the intention to feel happy. Now, if I set the expectation that, oh my God, I have so much to do, and oh, I'm gonna get it done, and I'm gonna get it done in 20 minutes, and you know, four hours later, I'm still doing it, that's not gonna go well, right? But I can control intention, I can control you know, how I wanna feel in that moment, and if I steer off course, bring myself back. So doing that is gonna help a lot. Remember, release stuff. There is a full moon on Saturday night, um, take a, take a few minutes that night and just like release it to the full moon. Bye. Take it away. I love to, uh, and we're talking about this next month, um, in the group and next week after the holiday, I'm going to come in and explain what's going to go on when we transition into the, um, to the new, uh, format. Um, so I'll be, I'll be giving you info on that. But we're talking all about astrology next month and you're going to be actually certified in everyday astrology. Um, in the group next month. So it's going to be super exciting, but we're talking about what to do in a full moon And one of the things I teach you how to do is to do a full moon ritual where you write something on a piece of paper And you plant it and you just give it back to the earth um, So even if you don't want to write it just go outside and just say it and just like give it give it back I'm done with this take it transform that energy into something different. You will feel so much better See if you can release one thing before the holidays. All right have a great holiday if I don't see you. Until then, talk to you later. Bye.